Steve1 uh, has a question here. I have heard that when interacting with financial institutions' websites using 2FA, in cases where they only have 2FA implemented via cell numbers, it was best to use an actual cell number rather than a VOIP number. I'm interested in Henry's take on this and whether using a VOIP number with my online bank is advisable or not. Um, so this is always a tough situation because there is no best case scenario because the core issue is that the institution only has SMS 2FA, which is now considered in many ways not as secure as more modern alternatives. So I would say that the core issue here is the bank. And I think that you're already set up in a bad situation. There is no best case scenario from here. With that said, you can minimize damage. And personally, I fall into the camp of always using VOIP when I can, mainly because my VO... So I have multiple VOIP accounts. One of them is a like Google Voice account that's used just for this situation. And the reason why I really like this is because Google Voice accounts that you use for VOIP are now behind Google security. There is, as far as I know, no SIM swapping capabilities into, in Google Voice. Um, if someone was going to access this SMS 2FA code, they're now going to have to break a Google account that has advanced protection on it, as well as two YubiKeys that are required to bypass. And I just don't reasonably see how anyone's going to do that. And I feel like that is a much harder ask for someone to break than if you have T-Mobile and someone pays $10 for some employee on Telegram to essentially sim swap you. And again, I think T-Mobile and all these cell carriers are getting better about this issue, but I still am hearing about sim swaps. They still are a major issue. And it's something that these cell companies have not figured out yet. So I think it depends what your threat is. If your threat is a sim swap, then I think in almost every situation, VOIP is gonna be better. And that's really the core issue I see with SMS 2FA is actually SIM swap attacks. So I personally fall into camp of using VOIP when I can, assuming your bank will accept it, which is a big if. Uh, fortunately, my bank doesn't even use this and I am able to use TOTP with my bank, uh, which is really awesome. But um, I would like to see what the take is because you say I'm interested in Henry's take on people who say uh, to use an actual cell number. I'd be curious why uh, they argue that that's more secure because I haven't heard that argument before. Um, and the only thing I've heard is a reason to use your actual cell number is mainly because if you lose access to your VOIP number or if your bank locks you out of your account or just not using your proper phone number, it can cause issues with your bank. Those are kind of more of the reasons I've heard for using an actual phone number for a bank. But if anyone has uh, more of those arguments, I would definitely love to hear them. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there, and we hope you enjoyed this clip.